there. Good morning. I am Pat with Colonial Dental Group here in Glenview. And I was going to take you a walk through our office and just give you an idea of what we're doing uh, to make our patients safe during this whole pandemic situation. Um, so a couple of things to note. We um, do have uh, tape on the floor and that people are used to seeing elsewhere. So it's worked out just fine. People know to stop here. And um, just a point of reference, we actually have a separate employee entrance here at our office. So it, it's actually worked out really well. So just so you're aware, uh, our employees enter through the separate door and their temperature is taken and logged uh, every day, as well as their street clothes are changed out of in our changing area. And, um, and they also leave that way at the end of the day. And the, the uh, clinical team never comes to the front they are actually able to go in through this door and get to their rooms. So our office has a very nice setup for handling this. Um, so this is our front door. We do have a sign in case someone doesn't know uh, what to do, but it does tell you to stop and go back and wait in your vehicle and call us when you arrive. Um, and at that point, it does just remind you to have your face covering on in Glenview. And, um, to have your face covering on as well as we're going to take your temperature and give you some hand sanitizer. So come on in to Colonial Dental. So we do have a table set up and uh, a team member will come to the to meet you at the door and we do have um, a touchless thermometer so when this is used it only needs to be three inches away and we're able to take your temperature, get a reading, and that is logged in the chart as well for you. And then we will give you some hand sanitizer, and then uh, we will tell you exactly which room that you're gonna be seen in. Um, so when you come into the office, we do have one chair, you'll see, that is turned around, that if uh, for someone who is a senior, or has you know any uh, disability that needs to sit, we do have this chair available. And then we're asking everyone else to stand on the X and then we will address you um, when you get here. So, and then also uh, you'll notice all the other chairs are turned around um, just to uh, alleviate any tempting of sitting. <laughs> so, uh, we do have a newly installed uh, sneeze guard at the front desk and also a sign um, just reminding everyone to respect the social distancing. Um, we do have two washroom keys here that are available, one, one for men and one for women. They are covered, and then we do have um, uh, what we call cabicide wipes uh, in the medical industry, and they are wiped down uh, every single time. Our uh, building here, maintenance, has also stepped up uh, you know, cleaning procedures for the bathroom. And we are also reminding everyone to try and go before they come. So that alleviates um, you know, the need to use it if possible. So come on in. This is uh, the other part of the front desk where people would normally check out. And um, we do have another social distancing sign here as well as another large um, container of hand sanitizer. So when you would be done with an appointment, you know, and you're going to come to the desk, we do have a stand here, use some more hand sanitizer, and we will remind you to do that. Um, at our front desk, we are no longer uh, taking credit cards and or checks, uh, if at all possible. We're asking everyone to uh, call us from the car, and at that time, we're going to ask you a series of screening questions, and based on your answers, whether we'll, you will know whether we're able to see you for your visit. And then we um, are taking a credit card at that time. And so we're all ready. So you don't need to really touch anything here at the desk or have any contact. Um, but we, we will speak to you and address, <laughs> address what needs to happen going forward should you need any work. So, um, so coming on into our office, we have purchased a tremendous amount of PPE, and um, and just so there, let there be light. 
And uh, we do have two medical grade air purifiers um, that we've recently purchased. And so uh, those have a maximum of square footage. So we're able to handle uh, the majority of the office this way. So these are, are a, were a great investment. Um, just to give you an idea also, uh, the biggest, one of the biggest changes is that you will see the staff looking completely different. And um, some of the usual things you're used to seeing are the gloves and just a basic mask. Um, but going forward, uh, the doctors and all the clinical team will be wearing what we call a fluid resistant jacket. And this is kind of a nylon uh, material and this jacket can be then wiped down if the doctor needs to you know, uh, do anything. And in between every patient, it is wiped down. Um, the jacket itself, if he needs to come out of the room and do see a hygiene patient, the jacket does come off. Everything comes off in the room that the doctor is in so that there's no transmission you know, of anything underneath. So, um, so just to give you an idea, this is a, what we call a treatment room. And when you come on in, um, everything really looks basically the same. Uh, the equipment is all the same. It's, you know, we're used to doing uh, a fair amount of inf infection control regularly anyway. Um, so things are just stepped up a little bit for your comfort level. So we do have the usual gloves and masks. Um, we do, we were able to procure, uh, you know, the KN95 masks for our office. So we were lucky to be able to get those. And then um, everyone does have shields. We have a variety of face shields that are being used um, based on the comfort and need of a clinician. Um, so that is an example of one, and this is an example of another one that the assistant is wearing at this time. These are able to be wiped down in between each individual patient as well. Um, so, and uh, if you're familiar with dentistry at all, all, um, Instruments and everything that are used are generally in a bag and have been sterilized and all instruments are wrapped and also sterilized and you know that they are sterile because they have these black lines. So that's how you know that is, is. and they are never unwrapped before the patient is in the room. Um, and then so heading on, um, this is our office. We have another treatment room here and a couple of pictures of previous uh, dental work that has been done. This is our pano machine. And just heading back to give you a little bit of an idea, uh, our dental office has a, a pretty nice, large, extensive uh, sterilization area. And we actually have a team member that uh, has been added who manages this room and she is able to make sure that everything comes in in the dirty area and gets brought all the way through the cycle of cleaning everything and it is sterile and clean by the time it gets to the end. So um, we have two autoclaves and these actually sterilize the instruments and everything is bagged and sterilized after each individual patient. So it uh, works out really nice. Um, so I think that's about it for, for me. Um, I am the hygiene coordinator and marketing and community liaison for Colonial Dental. We are open generally on Mondays, Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Fridays. We are trying to add a little bit of extra uh, patient time to try and see as many people as we can. We're working through a backlog of patients. And um, uh, so call us. We're at 1775 Glenview Road. We're right across the street from OLPH here in Glenview. And uh, we'd love to see you.